Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. As you can see, we're in a new location uh, for you today. Right uh, here, people can't see us. Uh, well, that's true. Very sorry. Well, you are at a new location, so if you want to check us out on YouTube, there you go. Or on our website, PressStartTV.com. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining us. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hi. Um, and today we're going to be talking about some Battleborn, some Rock Band, Division, some Speedrun, Skyrim, and games Skyrim. we can expect to see at E3 this year. So that's what we're going to be going over today. Skyrim. Skyrim. I, I think <laughs> I know Skyrim. what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. That sounds good, actually. That sounds awesome. Put that um, in my Red Bull and drink Bethesda, it. Bethesda, pro tip. All right, let's, let's start things off with uh, Rock Band. Uh, Rock Band has a pretty big announcement, James. I, I really hope this announcement isn't actually true. I know you're excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope this isn't true. Apparently, I'm Rock Band has announced excitement. that they'll be releasing some <laughs> Justin Bieber songs <laughs> just for you. Ooh, girl. Yeah. Oh, mm. my God, that's so bad. Yep. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> they do know their name is Rock Band, yeah. right? Not Pop Band. You know, that was a big thing Not recently pop guy. with uh, Gene Simmons and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame saying that, like, hip hop. Too many stuff. Well, like, too, Run too DMC much. shouldn't be in there, which is kind of dumb. Yeah, I mean, I can. Run DMC partnered with enough bands that. He well, probably yeah. is somewhere on a Rock and Roll yeah. album. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I definitely see both sides, I guess, but certainly, like, Aretha Franklin, I mean, she should be in there. I know it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but still. But Bieber awesome. shouldn't, and he shouldn't but be in Rock Band 4, that's but, my opinion. But so, so you think of Rock Band, you just don't think of... I mean, some of the songs, like, from the soul, Souls People, uh, Souls People, from those Soulful People. I'm like, Souls uh, People, we're not talking Dark Souls here. Uh, we'll get into that should later. be in there, but yeah, Justin Bieber doesn't <laughs> come to mind. Nope. How are Justin, you going to do... I don't, I don't know. I got, the, I got the drums on this one. Yeah. Well, you know what? They figured out a lot of weird stuff with the 80s songs on Rock Band 3. That's true. With the guitar and the guitar. Yeah. You play the Justin Bieber song, you just so. beat yourself in the face with your peripheral. And get a bunch 100%. of weird tattoos yeah. for no reason. That's it. Yeah, and then 100% right there. <laughs> Date a few uh, ex-Disney Club members, you know, <laughs> yeah. and then, yeah, high score. Obviously, you can tell we're not the biggest Justin Bieber fans. Justin, we love I love you. the guy. What are you talking uh, about? Yeah, Justin, we love you. I love his insanity good. that he's currently going through right now. He's going through like a Britney Spears phase. Nice. It's great. Anyway, if, if you want to check <laughs> that out on Rock Band, you can. Um, there has been an official date announced for the expansion, or I'm sorry, the DLC for The Witcher 3. No, this is expansion. Woo! It is expansion, sorry. Uh, coming June 7th. June 7th, Blood and Wine. Blood and yes. Wine. What do you think about this? I think it looks awesome. They're, they're it heavily focused on um, Geralt in this one, or Geralt, however you Geralt. say it. Geralt, yeah. yeah. It's heavily focused on him and the development of his character through this one, so that's really, really cool. Yeah. Because the the main Witcher game focuses more on Siri. Yeah. And, and your hunt for your daughter. And you know Jennifer. Everybody, it looks. Everybody wants Jennifer. It looks really cool, like the setting and everything that they showed. It, it kind of looks like. A little bit like uh, like the Red Keep and Westeros, like you'll yeah. you'll be doing like and especially Blood and Wine. It kind of sounds like you'll be playing to some politics and stuff. So that really had me like. Uh, Game of Thrones and it's, and it's, the Witcher all coming around the same time. It's all like, about being a Witcher in this. Yeah, okay. I, I dig it. So, so is this expanding at the end of the story? I don't. Do you guys know? I don't know. I think it might be because like I know thing. that neither one of you have finished the game yet. He's finished it. Have yeah. you finished yeah, it? Yeah, I did finish it. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, I love that game. You're thinking of somebody who used to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. No, well, I mean, I'm working on it. Yeah, oh, okay. I do like a couple missions every week or so, and that's about most it. people have played Witcher. Love it. Never finish. Yeah, it's because it's very difficult. I had, a, I had a conversation with the guy the other day about it. Like, <laughs> it's just it's weird to like resent a game for being so long. I sat down so many times and was like, I'm gonna beat this today, and it would just judo you into a side mission. Yeah. I wouldn't even realize oh. until I checked my quest queue, and I'm like, this isn't even the main thing. Like, <laughs> all right, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. Thank you again for joining us. We're talking about uh, Rock Band, Justin Bieber, Geralt, uh, Geralt, <laughs> June seventh expansion, Witcher three. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. <laughs> Okay, so um, I have a method for the Witcher though. Okay. Like to currently get finished through it, and I'm trying to finish it before No Man's Sky, because I know once No Man's Sky comes out, I'm never going to go back to it. I, I do the story missions, and if I find a side quest that has a really good item, I go and do that side quest, and that's it. I yeah. finish that side quest. That's it. It's probably me with Fallout. I just wanted to be done with the game, and they're like, oh yeah, here's your expansion. Strictly mark. focused on story missions. Game's too, game's too rich for me though. You know what I mean? Like as Geralt, like I got a whole new armor. I'm just like, I need to go change my hairstyle now. You gotta match my armor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Got some I got a, armor, got I got a like date a with uh, Tris later tonight. I'm gonna go with like a soft look. <laughs> Clean you know? shave. Yeah. Nice. 
All right. Um, so, uh, Battleborn, the open beta came out. Um, it's definitely playable. You should be able to still play it. I think it might have closed. I don't know. Oh, uh, by the time this airs, yeah. But yeah. by the time this airs, you'll be really close to release date. So. Yeah. Sure. Um, so, right around the corner, we played it. Um, did you play it? I played a little bit of it. Yeah, I didn't get to get in with a group of people as a solo, but it feels just like Borderlands. Yeah. It's amazing. I finally awesome. had a chance to play it. Um, it's it's really cool, actually. Oh, I, I, I thought it was good, yeah. It's really good. Um, really, really good. I will say, the there at one point, the um, again, we're talking about Battleborn. Uh, very, very, uh, very exciting game uh, from 2K, I think. Um, yeah, 2K and Gearbox. Gearbox. And so this game, I mean, the, some of the missions, like the story missions going mm -hmm. through, I felt were really, like a little boring um, at times. Uh, I don't know why. Might have been because it was one in the morning, but it, it was just, <laughs> no, I don't know. It has no. nothing to do with it. <laughs> but the other one I played was actually a ton of fun. Which was the second mission? Yeah. The, uh, the Wolf Century. Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's just like, under fire over <laughs> what here. What are, you, what are you guys going to do later? Because I'm definitely not going to die go during the course of this mission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never played the second one. I, I got to the end of the first one and I couldn't finish it. Dude, by it's, it's great. So that one's great. Just that wolf century. Oh yeah, that, the spider dude and everything. That was you pretty tough. By that was, yourself. That was, it's impossible. Jeff to do was by hilarious. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I love Jeff. I love Jeff. <laughs> I loved Isaac cussing at him. Yeah. <laughs> I could beep beep Jeff. I figure out like why am I so far in the air all of a sudden? No, oh, oh, I'm Arachnus. Oh, spiders, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Poisons aren't gonna hurt me. Yeah. I thought it was really clever. And coming brood. A lot of fun. Um, the characters were good. Uh, I mean, they kept get, actually giving you characters during the beta, so that was fun. Well, you have to think too, like for a MOBA to actually have story missions, that's that's unheard yeah. of. That's a new territory. All right, when we get back, we talk about Division, Skyrim, and more things like that right after this. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We just got done talking about Battleborn, Rock Band, and The Witcher. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hey, how's it going? Okay, uh, you guys were talking about before we got started today something about the Division exploits. What was that all about? Uh, the Division on Xbox One specifically oh, okay. is, is caving in on itself. <laughs> like to the point that people aren't playing the game because of so many people exploiting the game and not making it fun to play the Dark Zone. So there was uh, the exploit. Yeah that I heard about in particular was there's a certain way that you could mm -hmm. uh, initiate the APC where no NPCs would spawn on you and if you mm -hmm. played the division you there's like a lot of instances you're fighting the boss NPCs just spawn endlessly that's part of what creates the difficulty so if you take out that factor it's just the APC sitting by itself yep. um, so Ubisoft you know, takes down the servers again to fix that whole thing uh, but they said they're going to try to find a way to punish uh, exploiters basically right. which is a lot of people what's happening is, is they're looping the boss over and over again and just Get glitching rewards. the best rewards over and over and over again without finishing the mission, yeah. and stacking up and getting the best gear before anybody else in the game has it. Yeah. So they're going back out in the dark zone with 200 to 240 rated gear, just dropping people left and right, and it's not fun anymore. Yeah. yeah. And you know, Xbox One is suffering from people's characters being erased constantly yeah. on a daily basis at this point. Yeah. So the Xbox One version is suffering really hard right now. I'll tell you, I, I've gotten back into this game. I started playing it a lot. Um, I, I'm digging it. I like it. I like the story stuff. I was having fun until I started playing the Dark Zone and yeah, it dropped. Told you, man. Right? Not, not really. I like. I couldn't figure out like, what you're supposed to do. I mean, there's lack of direction. You, you're you're trying to help out people, and then like there was a group of us all doing some pickups and that kind of thing. It was fun. And then next time I went back in there, there was a group of students pick ups and then one guy comes by and blows everybody up and just like really dude there's also a yeah. glitch in the dark zone where people are glitching outside the playable area and killing everybody in the extraction points yeah and they're just probably sniping from a point where you can't shoot them you can't, you can't yeah. even see them yeah i had a problem where i was doing a mission and uh this was like early on um, one of the flamer dudes was behind a door and he couldn't come through the door because I'd killed another flamer guy and he was laying in front of the door barring him and so like it, I literally had to wait for him to glitch enough to the door that his hand was out he could hit yeah. me the whole time but then his hand had come out and I was just like, pow 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 
hand, hand shot. You know, it's, it's good. I mean, I like. There's some parts of it that I really like. It, it, it's pretty fun. I mean, if you can get by those kind of idiots. But the, then again, I like, feel like they're getting kind of that with any game with technical difficulties, though. Oh, Ubisoft yeah. is known for glitchy games. Yeah, yeah. And in an MMO, some of the worst glitches in games, and they launched an MMO with some of the worst glitches possible. I mean, MMOs are I think the hardest to, to keep up with. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, you, you know? got to have a dedicated 24-hour staff to do. That. Yeah. All right. Um, so in other news, uh, there was another speed run for the first Super Mario Brothers game, and this was broken yet again by the very same guy who said it the last time. Several times, I think. Um, yeah, but this he guy set the, the record several, several times. Yeah, he said the last time he did it, he said there was still he said there was room error. for improvement. Yeah, he's like he's like room for improvement there, and then yeah, apparently point zero 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 seven. It's like so hey, you know, you're yeah. still, you're still when, you're, when you're getting down to the speed running <laughs> yeah. of a game and it's in the, the millionth of a second, and you're the you only competition for yourself, that yeah. you are the best at what you do because you're breaking your own record by that many millionths of a second. It's yeah. a cool headline to see. It's broken I mean, again, yeah. broken again. Apparently, he owns the record for the actual uh, playthrough of every level and the warp uh, level. The warp level. Yeah. So. Pretty, pretty freaking cool. Yeah. You must play a lot of Mario One. Anyway, um, lives and breathes it. Yeah. yeah, look that up if you want to challenge him. Good luck. Uh, you won't beat him. <laughs> there was a Skyrim news. When's the last time you played Skyrim? Skyrim. I've never played Skyrim. What, what? Is Skyrim? Oh, okay. Oh. Sure. <laughs> um, Skyrim. I'm trying to blow I played Skyrim. Over here. Crap out of that. Skyrim. Skyrim. The last Skyrim. time I played Skyrim was just after the last DLC came out. Guillermo. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Del Porlo. Uh, so, the last, the last time I Skyrim. Skyrim, I had a Nord named Oliver Queen, and I bought the the Hearthstone expansion just so I could build like. I, I'm a huge nerd, I, so I could make no, a Queen Manor. Yeah, I made Queen Manor, and then I had like uh, one of the mannequins set up with the whole Green Arrow outfit. He had like a green hood and everything, and then walk in my house and be like, "Yeah, that's cool." <laughs> yeah. These Archer characters, man. Like. Yeah, dude, it was so much fun. So the news is that there was a mod that has been this three years in development. Not shocking. It just finally came out, and it's four gigs to download. Mm. So this is a pretty big what does deal. It do? So that's a good question. Most of what it does is it kind of adds on to a lot of the existing towns and cities, um, and then adds some new ones on top of that. That's because you know Skyrim didn't have, have enough, enough stuff. Have to go. Yeah. So I guess the way like some of the stories and stuff go, um, it just kind of changes things and makes it more kind of functional. Cool. Yeah. I'm so, still waiting for Morrowind HD to hit. Right. You've Morrowind seen was. You've awesome. seen the development on that? Yeah. It yeah. looks awesome. Sounds like they're porting. I've seen it. They're, they're essentially man. porting Morrowind into the Skyrim engine. Oh, awesome. And it looks fantastic. Yeah. Sweet. Looks awesome. But yeah, I mean, so you Skyrim, Skyrim fans out there, uh, I want to check that out. I mean, that's that's uh, that's a pretty big deal. Three years in development just for a mod. Oh yeah. One guy probably. One, one guy. Yeah. yeah probably uh, four. Maybe gigs. outside help from a couple things. Yeah. But probably mostly one guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I, this I don't place is haunted. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a xenomorph again. Yeah. That so seems logical with the vents. <laughs> is, it, is that taking a mod too far? I mean, three years? Well, people are gonna go, is that going to be enough to get people back into the game, you think? I mean, there's people still playing there's the game anyway. There's still people playing Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, I still know like, There's still people Skyrim. finding bosses in the game that were never found. Right? Well, will, will they welcome a change like that, or do they want to stick to what they know? They're probably the ones playing all the mods. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mods yeah. on PC for that game are a huge Bonkers. thing. Macho Man so Randy Savage. Is, Macho is, Man Dragon. I love it. That is the best. Now, I think Macho Man Death Claws is better, though. Yeah, that one's pretty great. And Fallout 4, that's probably the best thing. And yeah. I only say that because I'll be able to get it on PS4. Yeah, my wife doesn't get it, laugh at too much stuff, but she laughed pretty hard. Like, I love that Macho Man and Randy Savage. All right, sorry. We'll, we'll, come back to, we'll come back to the Macho Man right after this. When we get back, we'll be talking about E3 Games We Expect right after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back. Uh, we were talking about Macho Man just a second ago and how he's in like every mod out there. So, God bless you, Macho Man. Anyway, uh, E3 um, is coming up not too far along. And uh, on our last episode of The Checkpoint, we are talking about games that could possibly make an appearance there. So let's kind of talk about that again because there are so many games. Can I just say a Ric Flair mod would be really good in Skyrim? You just go, woo! 
Ooh, and it makes that the new shot. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that'd be awesome. Woo! It's just the Ooh. player chop. Fus yeah. like, that's yeah. what Fus Rodas Fus Ro does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of saying Fus Rodas, he just goes, woo! By the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, we're talking about E3 2016, right around the corner. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hello. So one game I know we talked about before just a second ago, Gears 4. I think you were saying you're reading some stuff on that. It's looking pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I've gotten really, I've heard really positive responses on the multiplayer beta. I'm and, pretty sure that that's going to... Oh, that'll definitely. It, I, I yeah. think it'll headline E3 yeah, I, for I, Microsoft. I definitely agree. That's their big title this year, Gears. Yeah. I think Gears knows they need it too. Yeah. <laughs> <They're laughs> bad. They're bad. Gears. <laughs> not, not the game, not Gears. No, no, no. <laughs> people, people are pretty hard. Yeah. They're like, what would have been bad? We almost fried. spilled a drink on set. Almost fried all of our Could've audio equipment. Very bad. And ourselves, maybe. Uh, like, yeah. So, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I won't be shocked yeah. if that is a Microsoft Xbox One exclusive. <sighs> I really won't. I wouldn't be surprised. Think about it. I wouldn't think be surprised. About it. Microsoft yeah. needs all the exclusive rights they can get right now because they're down by 33 million consoles. That did do really well on the 360. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, from a business perspective, I guess that's good. But most people are Microsoft because they like the exclu their exclusive title. But and Rockstar is pretty like. They, they like their open. money. They're just like all platforms go. Well, I, mean, I, I think they just no. That's not true. Yeah. They skip PC until after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they ignore the master race. Like They're just like, PC. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, so, but I'm excited for that game. I'm not, nine, I know you're not the biggest fan, I, I, but. I, I mean, I am. James, mm, I, yeah. yeah. I, I I'll agree. check it out for yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm not right gonna, on. It's not going to be one that I have to buy day one, you know? Um, you know, a lot of people say Wild Wild West, Grand GTA kind of thing. Man, that story uh, was just killer. I, the story was great. I just thought a lot of the mechanics was just fun environments. Mm -hmm. I love being the just shooting was good. Should I tell my story? I don't care. Okay, I'll tell one story real quick. I, I, there was a saloon and I hogtied everybody and wrapped up like eight different people and they're all laying on the floor and then another guy comes walking in, he opens the saloon doors, he walks in, does a U-turn and walks right back out. He's like, nope. nope. He's like, he nope. noped out. The alternative <laughs> to that is get tied up or be tie yourself up. You know? Just, I don't <laughs> want this scene, man. It's not my thing. <laughs> you know what? This place is too hardcore for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, I love stuff like that. Uh, so Red Dead Redemption 2, Scale Bound. That's an exclusive oh, yeah. we'll see this year. And that's we'll that's probably a presence out of year. all the Xbox One exclusive titles is the one that I think has my attention. I think I might have one more Xbox One exclusive title. Recore. Recore looks cool. Recore was announced at last year's E3, so I won't be shocked if they have more. I think they'll have more for us, yeah. Yeah. Maybe That's something CFDs playable. See if these was another that game I was so thinking right cool. So cool. Is that is that an Xbox One exclusive? Yep. All right, well it's rare. I'll take back my statement. And, and it's rare as like they haven't done an, an it's anything in a while. Know. Yeah, I know. I have seen I've seen, seen the trailers. It looks awesome. Yeah, it looks amazing. It really does. So I'm get an Xbox now. <sighs> one more exclusive uh, Microsoft game, Crackdown 3. Um, I, I'm, I haven't yeah, gotten I into this series. I don't know much about it, but I'm I sure they're going to wrap it up. We'll see. I know people have gotten into it. I can't get into it. I played all of them oh, so yeah, far, the two that have come out so far. Um, Set all two. Yeah, all two. That's what I said I played all of them, and then I thought about it, and I was like, there's only two, so there's I shouldn't say two. that. Yeah. yeah. I played, I played a couple of them. You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm honestly not that excited. I hope you prove wrong. I hope I see it and I'm just like, oh yeah. man, it looks super the, the dope. But announcement trailer for it looked awesome. Yeah. We're talking about E3, games that we can expect to see at this year's E3. Once again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. This yep. is James. Who's a Nintendo? Uh, Zelda. Yeah, that's it. I definitely see a strong presence of Zelda. Yeah. Um, the Zelda will be strong with NX, them. Wii U, I don't care. I just got to have it. I want to play it. I just give me That brings Zelda. me to the next point. I'm pretty sure that we will see the unveiling of the NX at E3. More than likely. I, yeah. I would say um, they would have something for us. There was some more stuff leaked about it this week. Um, it, its gimmick is a dedicated screen controller. Yeah. Cool. I guess. Well, no. place doesn't the idea go behind, by the place. The <laughs> idea behind it is that it gives you the ability to do remote play from anywhere. Mm -hmm. you just leave your console at home, and you can remote play with the controller anywhere, like a PS Vita and a PlayStation 4. Okay. So it gives you that right out of the box. But you still play at home. Yeah, you still play at home yeah, on your TV, or you can take it. Would that be like, like would that be like killing the 3DS market? Potentially, because they're they've no, now gone console you're only and mobile. Be able to play games that are designed for the NX. Yeah. 
No, they should just design it. Because I'm sure that they will still have the separate markets. Uh, but they yeah, should just design the 3DS has its own gimmick. The two yeah. screens, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want to mess with your own handheld self, market. I just want which that's their strong Pokemon point. Right now, I think they're just giving players the ability to take their full-size console games with them. Since Game Boy, they've owned. I got to move on. Level. Titanfall 2 from EA. Finally, a campaign. Thank you for listening to the community uh, and Everyone. stuff. I certainly need it. Yeah. Uh, this one does bad. I'm pretty sure Respawn will be done with. <laughs> Dishonored 2. Uh, we yes. probably see some of that. That's looking yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. <laughs> we're uh, speculating that we'll see some information about that. Hopefully. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3. More mm -hmm. than likely, we'll be seeing some of that. I'm yeah. very excited about that. I bet we get a release date. That would Hopefully. be awesome. Hopefully. Uh, another game that we saw last year's E3 that I'm definitely interested in seeing more about, Horizon, exclusively on the PS4. I hope oh, we can yeah. play it. Yeah, that would be yeah, fantastic. I really want to play great. it this year. <laughs> I'd like to see some gameplay of The Last Guardian as well. Um, I think, um, I mean, they, well, we they some showed some, year, but I'd like to get but, my hands on yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. I want to see if it plays just like Shadow of the Colossus and Ico. There was a game, games were great. There's a game I've seen a trailer for, for called Matterfall. I don't know if you've I've seen, seen the trailer for it, but I don't know. I don't know much what, about it, but like, the trailer looks good. It? Yeah, it's like the trailer looks awesome. Dead Island Two effect. Kind of crazy. <laughs> That's the, yeah. Deep Silver is definitely slated to be there. Yeah, might expect a Saints Row game or possibly. Um, Either Saints Row Five or Dying Light Two. You know, be cool. That's my possibly Dead a new Island. IP. Would it's be not Dead Island. Plus. I'm telling right. you, they <laughs> sold the Dead Island rights. It's not happening. That's all the time we got for you today. Check out all our coverage on E3, by the way. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye. Bye.